Hi, this is Mark Hockman of PC World, and today we are going to kick off the upgrade from Windows 8.1, this PC, to Windows 10. Um, this hopefully will give you an idea of what to expect if you kick off your own upgrade. The first thing you need to know is that you need to back up everything. This is my wife's PC, and she made it very clear that I was to take all the documents and photos and videos and whatever personal information we had and put it on an external hard drive. In fact, on this PC, there's both uh, users set up for both my wife and myself. I used to use this PC a while back, and so I had some personal information uh, that I wanted to back up as well. So, the first thing you need to know is um, that there is a... I apologize, I'm holding a phone, I'm working at home, and I have a broken foot, so if you see any sort of mess around the house, it's because I haven't had a chance to clean up. <clears throat> Anyways, this is the Get Windows 10 icon, which is on your taskbar, and it pops up this little reminder saying you need to upgrade, and you need to upgrade very quickly, or else you will lose your chance at a free upgrade. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk you through the process, but I'm going to pause occasionally just to sort of conceal any personal information that I have, as well as to sort of cut out the boring bits. So first thing you need to do is to go ahead and click the Upgrade Now button. When I did that, Windows just wants to make sure that everything is upgraded and updated, and I'm assuming it's downloading whatever it needs to in the background. So after about, I don't know, 15 or 20 minutes of checking for any upgrades, it looks like it's now downloading Windows 10, so we'll pause here and let it download and pick up when it resumes. As it downloads, you'll get a nice little progress bar that gives you an idea of both of how much it's actually downloading, uh, as well as the percentage of actual completion. Alright, so Windows 10 has been downloaded. It took about 20 minutes on my home network. Uh, which is a 25 megabit broadband and then uh, an 802.11g wireless solution. And you can see the scroll bar is beginning installation. We'll pause here <coughs> while it completes it. Oh, <laughs> sorry, slight mistake there. I apparently, since this is the middle of the day, I'm working from home and I've had an upgraded uh, broadband connection, I actually have 83 megabits down, so that 20 minutes refer reflects an 83 megabit connection. So uh, if you have less than that, it'll obviously take a little bit longer. Again, we'll just wait for this to continue to prepare to install and I guess begin the installation process.